All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This reading here is for my Aquarius zodiac sign. This is a love and relationship reading. Uh, before I dive into it, let me just say this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. Could be messages for someone else. And energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross, and if you need to, please flip them. We're going to start off with a romance deck card, a romance and love and relationship card here. This is going to be your overall energy. Then I'm going to pull the uh, pull your energy, pull the surrounding energy for your person or your person's energy. And then we're going to end it off with a couple of oracle cards. Whoa, that's too many. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get the overall energy here for Aquarius. Just one card, please. Clarify the energy of Aquarius zodiac sign, please. What's going on with Aquarius? We have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. It's a card that popped that for you here. <clears throat> All right, let's... Um, Clarify your energy. Clarify the energy of Aquarius, please. Clarify the energy of Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius here, please? This passion card. Hmm. What's going on with Aquarius? Thank you, Spirit. And can I have one more? What's going on with Aquarius here? Queen of Cups. Okay, so. Yeah. Aquarius, I'm feeling as though with this Knight of Swords and the Queen of Cups, you have something to say to someone. You have some emotions and feelings, a connection that you want to get off your chest to someone. Uh, here, this could be uh, that you love them, that you care about them, that you're in love with them, you want a relationship with them. The Queen of Cups represents nurturing, uh, committed type of energy. Okay? This is that energy of I love you, I'm in my emotions, I'm in my feelings, I'm committed to you emotionally. And the Knight of Swords is like wanting to rush out and just kind of get something off of your chest. It, sometimes it can come off very argumentative, very straightforward. Uh, it's an action that has been thought about and it's like, okay, I'm making this happen. I'm going to do it like you're going for it. As you can see, this person has the, the sword drawn back. They're ready to charge. So, um... This is something you definitely want to get off your chest here. Or you want to say to someone. Clarify the energy of the person surrounding Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles. Clarify the energy of the person surrounding Aquarius, please. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so three of them popped out. Wow. Well, this automatically, I'm seeing Pentacles. Pentacles, Pentacles, and then Cups. This person here looks like they may be focused on their financial situation. With this Knight of Pentacles here, this is uh, starting something that's going to bring long-term success. Okay, but it uh, starts off very slow. Okay, something that you may not see profit uh, that, or that they may not see profit in at first. But I also see the Six of Pentacles here. This is like a gifting type of energy. And then the Nine of Cups, Fulfillment, Happiness here. So this person over here, I feel like their passion is towards their, could be their coins, okay? We're going to see though. Let's, um, let's pull the energies here. Pull the energy of Aquarius, please. Energy, emotions, and feelings. Hmm. Photograph, the chaser. Cassette, coffee cup, twin flame. Mm. Photograph, looking at your photos, nostalgia, making new memories. The chaser, chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. And then twin flame, yin yang balance, okay, soulmate connection. So this person over here could be your uh, twin flame, your soulmate, your two of cups, as you would know in the traditional uh, tarot deck here. Guys, this is my blanket. It's kind of chilly in here, so if you see that, that's what it is. <laughs> so I feel like you need to say something to this person. Like, you want to... Tell them that you love them, but you don't want to feel like 
Like you don't want to feel like you're chasing them because we do have the chaser here. You don't want to feel like you're codependent on them. But I do feel as though you have this outdated thinking of... Because it's coming off kind of like a masculine energy, but it's also coming off as a feminine energy. So I'm feeling like it's kind of a thinking of... An outdated thinking like it's it, you keep replaying it over in your head and you keep saying okay i want to i want to go after them i want to tell them how i feel but then like you back it's like you reverse it again or you will rewind it back i feel like you enjoy talking with this person you enjoy conversating with this person you may text them just to strike up a conversation like hey this reminded me of you or hey you know how have you been this is definitely a twin flame connect, uh, connection. You're still connected to this person. If You're even sitting, you may sit there, you may have uh, photographs in your phone that you're looking through, like old photographs that are kind of like um, your, your keepsake thing. I feel like nobody else knows about this, though, the way that you look at these photos. I feel like you kind of do it in a, like a secretive way. Tell me more about um, Aquarius here. Tell me more about what's going on with Aquarius. Can I have a little more depth? Yeah, you're. it's like you're a control freak a little bit. You want to be in control. You want to control the narrative, Aquarius. Because like you do want this new venture here, this new opportunity. Or you're out there trying to create this new opportunity and this new venture. But I feel like you want to create it with this person. But you want to be the one that's going to be in control of it. Like you want to be able to, um, you want this stable, you want something stable. You want a stable relationship with them. But you want it to be like a fresh start, like something completely fresh, something completely new. But you could be just a little, um... What's the word? I, I don't want to be rude. It's like an ego thing, okay? Your ego. Let's pull the energy of them and find out what's going on with them. What's the energy, feelings, and emotions of this person surrounding Aquarius? The dragonfly. I like you. Can I have one more, please? Thank you. Kisses. Ooh, they're the runner. So you're coming up as the chaser, and they're actually the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy and listening to ego. Wow. You both, I feel like you both have ego problems. That's crazy. The dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things. Coming to light. Adapt. Change. Heal. Oh, this person has been through some things. I don't know if this person has been through some things with you, Aquarius. But I feel like they had to go through a lot of change here as the dragonfly. They had to really adapt to this new life over here that they're having. And I feel like that's why this Knight of Pentacles here. I don't know if they... Um, I feel like something happened here between you two in a relationship. It could have been like a breakup, separation, something like that. Whatever it was, this person has finally found something that works for them. Like, they, they're they finally finding happiness here. And I feel like they're finding this happiness without you. And that's why you're wanting to come forward kind of forcefully here with the Knight of Swords. Like, it's coming off a little argumentative. We do have I like you. So, someone likes you. Romance is blowing. Fun flirting. Want to date. This person's ready to uh, date. I feel like they, they've... They're open to it, unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection, falling in love, kisses. I do feel as though they do love you, though, Aquarius. They have some type of love for you. Just with the dragonfly, that just tells me with the be lighthearted and adapt and change, I feel like they've been through some stuff, some ish, you know what I'm saying? And although they might not have felt like they were going to make it because they weren't they weren't really seeing any progress. They're realizing that they're finally gaining balance in their life here. 
Let's see. Let's pull some more. Tell me more about these two people, these two energies. Tell me more about these two energies here. Oh, codependency. Yeah. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. There was some type of codependency in this relationship between you two. You, Even though you two are like, it's showing as twin flames, okay? When a relationship becomes codependent, where one feels like they got to have the other to live or survive, and the other feels like they got to have the other to live and survive, okay, that's when it becomes toxic. And so I feel like when you guys were together, that may have been what happened. Uh, one of you were very dependent on the other, or both of you were dependent on each other, whichever one. But I feel like you guys could have separated at some point here. Yeah, I knew it. Three of Cups, there's reconciliation in here. Along with the Hierophant, so this could have been a marriage commitment, uh, relationship engagement. The Seven of Cups. It was like it, a lot of choices in here, a lot of decisions being made. The World card, Triumph, Overcoming. This person, you put this person through some stuff, Aquarius. Or this person went through some things. Because even here, disappointment. This person went through some things in the past with you, uh, in y'all's past relationship. So that person could have actually been codependent and they ran away or they, I don't know, something that, to me, they feel like, I feel like they're running from you, constantly running from you. Or they have issues now where they can't uh, find a relationship or really just stick to a relationship. Although they may like somebody, I feel like they can't really stick to a relationship right now. But I am seeing, tell me more about this, these two energies. Let me pull one more. Deception, yeah. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I don't, y'all two are in a relationship. I don't feel like you're in a relationship at all. I feel like between you two, you're, you're not showing like, if this is you, Aquarius, you're not really showing them that you love them. You're hiding it, although you do love them. Like you want to come forward and tell them that you love them. You care about them and things like that. But with the emperor here, it's like you got to have that control. Like you got to be able to control the way it happens, like the way they find out and things like that. Tell me more. Any clarity? Whoa. Lamp. Oh, I got it upside down. I was like, what the world? Tell me more. Any clarity or advice here for a, the third eye chakra? Any clarity or advice here for Aquarius? Any clarity? Thank you. Confront. Yeah. Third eye chakra in the confront card here. The third eye, okay, that's the one that's located uh, between your brows, all right? This is the one where you uh, can see, like, your future, see into the spirit realm, all right? You can get your visions and things like that. I feel like um, you could be a very spiritual person. I want to say that first of all, okay? I do feel as though you're very spiritually in tune with yourself. And... With the third eye here, okay, this is the inner seeing, all right? This is, you can see it's like your intuition and your higher levels of consciousness and things like that that are, that are associated with energy. Like, I feel like you can feel their energy because you're very intuitive and they can feel your energy, all right? This is like those psychic abilities. And I feel like what you're doing is you're 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 putting out in the universe that you still care about them and things like that. And because of that, they can feel that. Like just like the twin flame, they can feel you thinking of them and you can feel them thinking of you. It's like that's why like they pop in your head out of nowhere, right? And I feel like you're doing that. You're very in tune with yourself. And I think that What's happening is with this new opportunity, this new venture here with the Ace of Wands, I feel like what's going on is that now that you have became in tuned here intuitively, you're realizing that this person is in importance to you. And I think that you're starting to realize that you may have some 
deeper rooted issues that you need to confront here. Okay. <laughs> yes, that there are deeper issues that need to be confronted. They're saying childhood. Um, so you could have childhood issues and things like that. You're pointing at the child here in the in the doorway. In the doorway, there's a child, okay? You could have went through some things uh, when you were a child that really have affected the way that you connect um, in relationships emotionally and things like that. And so they're saying that you need to work on that. And, they, and, I, and they're saying that you know that that's an issue because of the third eye. That's what they're saying. They're saying they, you know that. I'm sorry. They're talking really fast, so I'm trying to get them. I meditated before I started reading today, so it's um, my third eye is open wide right now. <laughs> I swear I just seen a card. Wasn't there just a card? Didn't I just see a card? Maybe it'll come back around. Okay, any other messages that you need for Aquarius to hear? I knew it. Look, trust. Any other messages that Aquarius needs to hear? That card was flipped over some type of reason, okay? Just trust your instincts. Trust what you're, what you're feeling, okay, with your third eye, what you're seeing. We also have the rebuild card. Okay. I feel like if you got the opportunity, you would seriously go, you would go with this person. If you had the opportunity, if you had the confidence to go forward, if you had the, if you worked on your inner self, your inner darkness, okay, this is that, that shadow work that needs to be done. I feel like once you do that, you're, you're willing to be open up to this rebuilding of this relationship here or this connection here. As well as them, I think they would be um, open to it as well. Because we do have the dragonfly, the I like you, and the kisses. And this is that unconditional love. So I do feel like that they still are in love with you in some sort of way. Okay, it may take some time if you did decide to get back with that person or you tried to communicate with that person. I feel like it would take some time before you guys would get to the level where you would start dating again. But I do feel like there's an opportunity to rebuild something here. Even if it's just a friendship, okay? Um, yeah, so just trust the process. You need to do this inner work, okay? This inner work definitely needs to be done. But this is your message, Aquarius. I hope that I didn't confuse you, <laughs> it was coming out pretty fast. <laughs> um, but I thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't mind, make sure you smash that like button, okay? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.